next video we will study about unique pointers. Unique pointers are a type of smart pointers which cannot be copied. So as other smart pointers, unique pointer is also a container of raw pointers and it prevents copying of its content pointer to any other unique pointer. So if you create pointer 1 with a pointer to an object A and assign it to unique pointer A, then we cannot use this. Copying pointer 1 resource to this pointer 2 is invalid and it will give some error. However, we can use the move semantics that is new to C++ and transfer this resource from pointer 1 to pointer 2. And in that case, this pointer 1 will be null. So when should we use unique pointers? When we want single or exclusive ownership of a resource, then we should go for unique pointers. So only one unique pointer can point to one resource. So one unique pointer cannot be copied to another. So let's see this in Xcode with a running example. The first thing that we need to do is include the memory header. So to use all these smart pointers, we need to include the memory header. And then let's create one structure A. And it will have just one method. Let's say it's print something. Now let's create a unique pointer which will point to this structure. Unique pointer for class A, name it P1. So now at this point we have an uh, instance of a structure A and P1 holds the pointer of that. So now we can call print A. So there is nothing special till this moment. Now let's also print the address of the containing pointer. To do that, we will call the get, get function. Let's just run it once. So it prints and then the address of the containing pointer. Now let's create another pointer p2 and we will we cannot copy so if we write p2 equal to p1 then we will get some compile time error so this is a deleted copy constructor inside that implementation of unique pointer so we have to call the move and then P1. So it transfers the ownership of the containing resource to P2 now. And now we can call the P2 print. And we will also print the address of P2. So now P2 should contain the same address that P1 was containing earlier. So let's run it and see. So here earlier P1 was pointing to here, then we transferred the ownership and again printed it. So this is after transferring the ownership, P1 is, so first get is for P1, so it prints null and the second is for P2.
So this P2 is now holding the same memory address as P1 was holding earlier. Now we can do this for one more time. Let's create one more pointer. And this time P3 and transfer the ownership of P2 to P3. And similarly print the address of P3. So now P1 and P2 should hold the null pointer and P3 will be holding the same address as earlier P1 was holding and then P2. So this was the address P1 was holding. Now P1 is null and P2 is the same address. Now P1 and P2 are both null and P3 is holding the same address. So uh, I hope you got the concept of unique pointer with this example. Thanks for watching and subscribe for my future videos.